Yo, what is good, y'all? It's your boy Cody, man, back with another one. What's up, you guys? What's happening? Hopefully, everybody's doing well, having a great day, staying safe, blessed, and all those good things above, okay? Man, you guys. So, we've been talking about this thing called Linux lately, okay? I've been bringing this to you guys' attention. Um, you guys, man guys need to really really check out Linux operating system it's really nice it's very very secure doesn't have a whole lot of bloatware that um, Windows does have okay and Mac is you know I don't know if Mac's the same way I have really haven't used it but you guys Windows you guys it's definitely got a lot of bloatware okay and um, uh this this is this doesn't have a lot of bloatware you guys linux is very secure it's what the government is using it's what you know a lot of a lot of big big places a lot of big companies use linux because it's very very secure okay so i want to talk about anyways what we got here today bottles you guys bottles for linux okay what this program does, okay, it allows you to take a Windows, a Windows, um, Windows uh, uh, application, and run it on Linux, okay. So I'm going to show you guys today. I picked up uh, uh, an application for Windows. I'm going to show you guys today how to create a bottle, how to. Um, how to get everything started so that you can run a Windows application on Bottles, okay? And Bottles is easy to find, it's on Flatpak, you guys. It's in the software store that's built in Zoran and some other, um, some other Linux operating systems, okay? That does have the store attached to it. If not, you can always go to the Flatpak uh, shop uh, the site and just type up flat pack and you can search for bottles and you can download it straight from there okay so let's go ahead and let's get started um, first we got we got bottles okay I installed it this is what it comes up when it first starts up okay now you you um, you have down here what you want to create you want to create a new bottle so we're gonna click on create a new bottle and it wants you to um, create a, a name for your bottle okay so we're simply gonna type we're simply gonna name this VLC because that's what I picked up for um, a Windows application okay now it gives you three choices it gives you applications gaming and custom okay so VLC most likely it's just an application okay it doesn't have anything to do with gaming okay you don't have to worry about custom so you can just worry about um application for now and just leave everything down here you know what i mean leave everything down here to, to default whatever it is and click create okay and you see right here what it's doing it's creating all kinds of uh it's, it's, doing like wine because wine is the background of usually of, of windows for linux okay so it's configuring everything out that needs to be updated and it'll start installing like um windows files that you need to to run it okay so um we're just gonna wait here i'll fast forward this probably and so you guys can basically see that um, it's installing this, okay? I want you to see how it's doing, okay? It's doing the configuration update. It's implying the environment application and it's finalizing. So we'll just, we'll just wait a minute. And this is what it's doing, you guys. It's creating a bottle. 
is creating a, like an inside of this application something for you to run this application um, that from Windows on here okay so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit here so you guys can see it okay okay you guys so we're done all right um, it says bottle has been created okay so we're just gonna click close okay now we have um, the bottle right here and we can click on application okay now we have all this right here we have run executable and you can add a shortcut which you really don't want to do and there's installed programs you guys there's also some stuff right here that you guys can download and use that will bottles will most definitely will work for it okay like as you got steam down here okay and um you also have origin um playstation plus okay so you have a whole bunch of stuff that you guys can mess around with okay so but anyways we're focused on vlc okay and you also have these settings down here dependencies that's if you need something extra to run the application okay you can definitely go in here um let me show you what it looks like dependencies okay wait so so just wait so these are all the dependencies you guys that you might have to use for a program just in case it doesn't work okay so and you can always look that up so what we're going to do right here we're going to go up here to run executable and as you can see right here i have voc windows 32 um uh executable okay so i'm going to click on it and i'm going to click run and as you can see down here is launching um the executable okay for a uh, VLC okay let's try that again what Here it is right here, okay? It was in the background. So I'm just gonna click okay. Yeah, it was down here in the background. So um, it's getting ready to set it up. We could bring bottles. Oh, there, there it goes, you guys. So uh, VLC media player set up. And this is for Windows. So you click next. And just click next and as you guys you can see it's just like windows okay so you click next and as you can see it's got the c drive okay just like windows okay so it tells you all that just install and just like windows so you click to install okay and as you can see it's installing it Once it's done, you guys, I'll, I'll go ahead and um, start it up and show you that it's functional. It does work inside um, bottles, okay? And this is, bottles, you guys, is very, very neat. Um, there's a lot of things that it can install and that it, there's a lot of things that it can't, okay? There's some things that I ran across, um, uh, that I ran across that I tried to install and it wouldn't install so but um, but s most programs that you will you know that you find that's Windows it most likely um, if you'd install the dependencies for it all you have to do is look up and see what the dependencies are for it if you need any dependencies for it that's in there and it'll help you install it okay 
So we're just getting through this installment real quick, real quick here. So as you can see, it's installing everything that it needs to run VOC inside of bottles for Windows, okay? I'm just giving you guys an example on I don't on a program that you might be able to use. So it's finished and I can go ahead and run it. So click finish. And it should start right up. <clears throat> okay, there it goes. So you can just click continue. And there you guys go. You have Windows VLC player uh, running off of uh, bottles, you guys. Here's bottles down here. So as you can see, there's bottles right here, and here's Windows VLC player, okay? So you guys can do little things like that. There might be another different application that you guys might like or that you wanna install. Simply just try it, okay? And um, go from there, you guys. It's very, very nice, you know, to have uh, a different operating system that will work. You guys are very secure. And a lot of people, you know, can't get in and can't use your computer, can't hack into your computer. That's what makes it so much better, Linux compared to Windows. Because Windows, you guys, is very easy to hack. So simply just close out on that. And that's, that closes out bottles, you guys. So I have bottles right here. Let's see. Uh, if I go to all my apps. Here's bottles right here. So simply, if I click on bottles and open it up, I'm gonna show you. Here's my VOC player right here, okay? So I can always just go ahead and start it from here, okay? And you can actually, I think this is it's not in your library. So if you want to put this in your library, let me see. I don't know don't know what you would have to do to put it in your library I haven't ran across that yet so as soon as I figure it out you could put this in your library too so add item to your program list I'm not for sure how to do that yet but I'm gonna I'm gonna go oh go up here to the plus and you create a new bottle and it goes in your library okay so you can have you can have it inside your library but here's your bottle right here and you'll have a list of bottles down here that you want so you guys you guys that is a video on how to run bottles inside of linux this is on the operating system of zoron okay and you guys zoron is is my favorite operating system to play with okay it's very very easy to learn it's just like Windows. Um, it's just like, um, it's very, very nice, you guys. You'll have to get a virtual machine and try it out because I think you guys will like it, okay? So if you have like a small PC or, or or mini PC or something that you want to use this to run off of and play with, you guys do it, okay? Do it. Um, you guys will definitely won't regret it, okay? So this is the end of that you guys you guys have a good one you guys stay safe stay blessed and hey almost